Today, I'm on my way to the Crab Tank pitch competition. There's $25,000 on the line, so. I'm Susan Clayton, and I am the owner and inventor of White Paws Run Mitts. Winning this in the $25,000 would help buy fabric. I know it sounds like something simple, but I need a lot of fabric to fulfill my purchase order. We have five fabulous founders who will be competing for a chance to earn $25,000. Nervous. I'm gonna cry. Not on the day. Yeah, go. It's hard to pitch your business in front of an audience, especially when you need the money. And so that's a lot of pressure that she's holding on to. Breathe. America has always been associated with making it. But is that opportunity available to all? This is what it looks like. To be made in America. Sometimes I just go out because I can open my front door and go, and I can get away from my head. I used to be a running coach with an organization called Back on My Feet. We run with people who live in homeless shelters. There's definitely a lot of homelessness in Baltimore, but I don't think that Baltimore is unique to that. It's every city, the haves and the have-nots. One of the terms of back on my feet is nobody runs alone. I'm out here running with everybody else and we're all equal. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. We ran every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, no matter what the weather was. In the winter, I would go running and I'd get back in the car and like my thumbs would just be like so cold. And one day I saw a friend of mine, he was running with a pair of socks on, like a crappy pair of socks and I said, I think I can make something better than that. And I'm a knitter, so I just knitted up a couple prototypes. I was like, you know, I'm gonna just take this to a patent attorney. Can't hurt. So I did, and three years later, <laughs> the patent went through. And I was like, okay, now what? <laughs> they go on and they cover up all of your fingers and your thumb, keeps everything really warm. But if you need to cool off instead of taking them off, just kind of flip the top or you push them all the way down. I was trying to figure out manufacturing, which I had never done. You can't just go in and say, here, make these mittens. They have to draw up a pattern. After that, I had to start figuring out like, when's the best time to sell? How to promote to different people. When I first started, I was like, oh, I'm just gonna sell some mittens to people who have cold hands in the winter when they run. And it's become so much more than that. <laughs> These are labels. As an avid runner, I couldn't find mittens or gloves that kept my hands warm when training in cold weather, so I invented one. Thank you for supporting White Paws Run Mitts, Susan. Yeah. So 2019, I had been trying to get into retailers and I was getting no, 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 like nothing but no's. And then COVID hit. And I was like, oh, now what? <laughs> People are running and they're outside more because they're like COVID's hit. Other companies were doing stuff probably not in this country. I hit the market before most sportswear companies because I didn't have to do all that turnaround. I was the customer. I needed something that kept my hands warm. So this is like beginning of May. End of May, George Floyd. People are starting to look for small black owned companies. An outdoor retailer did an article. There's only two black owned gear companies in the US. And I was like, that can't be right. <laughs> so because of that article, other people were finding out about me. And I got a call from REI and, and I was like, this is not right. This is not REI. They're like, she's black, she's a woman, she's a gear company, let's try it. I think they thought they would do well, but I don't think they thought they would do as well as they did. Neither did I, I was shocked. And it got to the point where I had to have them shipped overnight. That's how fast they were selling out. 2021, I was in four REI stores 
And then in January, they were like, we're gonna go into more stores. We've decided on 80 stores and I was like, wow. When I got the order, I was just like, I'll figure it out. And then it got to the point where as I was buying the supplies, buying the fabric, I was like, wait a minute, I'm running out of money. This is part of the supply chain issues that people have because things are coming in at different times. And so I just have to kind of store them here until I can get them to the manufacturer, hopefully soon, but you don't get paid until you produce the product. So you have to figure out a way to pay for it up front. And we're closing partnerships with some of the world's largest hospital systems, hotel networks, and more. I kind of go into these competitions like, I'm not gonna win. But more importantly, we are saving lives. Maybe I'll be audience favorite. <laughs> There's no chance in hell I'm winning with these companies. Everyone's looking for that tech company. All of us have already encountered the metaverse in some way. There's no way in the world they're going to pick me. I just sell mittens. Up next, we have Susan Clayton, who is the CEO, the founder, and the startup genius of the company White Paws Run Mittens LLC. I'm Susan Clayton, and I sell mittens. <laughs> I used to be a running coach for an organization called Back on My Feet. Back on My Feet, we met and ran with people who lived in homeless shelters, and we met at 5.30 a.m. every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and we ran in any kind of weather. A lot of other people, like me, we could never find a, a right mitten or glove that kept both our fingers and our thumbs warm when we were training on those really cold mornings. Our patent and design is what sets us apart from our competition. White Paws Remit's products have always been manufactured in the U.S. Um, we, uh, sorry, our products have always been manuf manufactured here in the U.S. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Our year to growth, year to date, has been about $350,000, and that's with me just being a solo entrepreneur. I'm also dedicated to producing and keeping needle trade jobs here on shore because I believe in trade jobs. I know a lot of people are talking about tech today, but I believe in trade jobs. There's all these businesses out here that are like multi-million dollar businesses, but you can have a business that's making $350,000 a year and sustain a good life. So, who wants to run warm with White Paws Run Mitts? <laughs> Thank you. I practiced and I practiced and I practiced, and I was terrible. I mean, I was trying not to cry. I think the reason I was so nervous is because I really needed this money this week. I'm supposed to start production for mittens next week, and I don't have the money to start. If I don't get financing, I have to delay manufacturing, which will become this big snowball effect. When we're talking about manufacturing, one of the scariest things that can happen to a company is you're running to the finish line and you run out of money. And this happens all of the time. Wonderful companies with brilliant ideas, traction, revenue, completely crumble because at an inflection point, needed capital support and they weren't able to find it. And there have been countless data points that really show that African-American women are the least likely to be funded for a venture. When I was in high school, I went to a predominantly male school. It was hard for me to get in because you had to have certain electives that were not offered to girls. Title IX was just being introduced, you know. You did girl things, you did dance, you did Girl Scouts, you did all those things. 
So I didn't think of myself as ever running track or anything like that. It, none of those sports were available to me. And my brother ran track. He got me really started. So we run this race and he's like telling me how to run. He's like, take your time, run slow, go at your own pace. And then he meets me at like the quarter mile towards the end. And he's like, all right, now it's time to sprint. <laughs> And I passed somebody that I'd seen during the course who had said, oh, why are you running so slow? And then I passed him. And I was like, I like the way this feels. <laughs> you know? Just didn't realize that normal people could do that. I had an idea because I'm a runner. I ran with back on my feet and I was running with homeless people. So I want to be able to give some mittens to homeless people and to people in shelter so that they can get out and run and they can feel good about themselves. And I want people to say, I had a problem, I want to try to solve it, and I want to start a business from it. Thank you so much. Yeah. 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 Hey, Susan. Hi, Jeffrey. It's so good to see you. I'm really excited today. Me too. I'm excited to walk through your new website. I think you're really going to like it. I saw something on the website and it just was like, oh my God, this is amazing. According to your goals, the site is really trying to accentuate the product being warm and that it keeps you active. That's really good. I really like that. And, you know, highlighting these top three things about how unique your product is. I love the color, I swear. I was like, I, <laughs> I'm like, I want to get a blue car just because I want, I love this color so much. And if you see here, we built your online store in such a way that it's clear and simple and it's easy for people to purchase. Yeah. I don't always want to rely heavily on retailers. I want to be able to be more direct to consumer because I might not always have that big order from a retailer. And my personal favorite section is this part. We really want to show the heart behind the company and the story of who you are. Authenticity is, of course, a big thing of online presence, but I also feel like it's a big part of your story. And that's really good because I think that's one thing that separates you from the big box stores as well. And right. people can actually see who Susan is, the authentic entrepreneur. The moment that we have all been waiting for. MNT is pleased to award $25,000 to today's grand prize winner. So, without further ado, can I do the drum roll? Oh! Oh my gosh, Susan! Oh my god, my name just popped up on the screen. Did that just happen? I don't even know how to feel. I'm so, I did not expect that. Really grateful for this. I'm really, I'm gonna be really emotional because this is a time when I need funding and I need that ecosystem. I need that, you know, tech to help me grow the business. It was like when I first started, I was just like, hey, I'm just selling some mittens. It's a simple idea. But I want other people to realize that you don't have to have these like big, big ideas to start a company. You can be a hairstylist, you can be a locksmith, you can do whatever you want. You can do something small and you can be successful. So I'm really, really grateful for today and I thank you so much everyone. Oh my God, I just won the $25,000. I can't, I'm still, like, I can't believe I won. What just happened was the Susan won. That's what just happened. She snatched everything and she's taking home the funding that she needs to grow. So $25,000 to me is game changing. Now I can say, I'm on track. I'm on track, I'm okay. She showed up as her authentic self and for her to be nervous and just think that she totally bombed it um, and then she won. Couldn't have imagined anybody better to have won that award today. You know, we were crying in the front, just listening to you because it's like, yeah, you're just one to have a company and serve people and be of service and like live well. So many people come up to me today to just say, 
Thank you for just saying that it's okay to have a small company. You don't have to be these unicorns out there trying to change the world. You're just trying to have a good life. Oh, I can sleep tonight. Coming up on Made in America, Susan returns in episode four, but first... See if I happy tears. <laughs> I work a lot harder on my business than I did in a job. That's the scary part of it. You betting on yourself. Whatever happens is because of the choices you made. 